So recently, I've noticed more and more that I'm making the same mistake with my landscape photography. And I think it's down to the fact that I shoot a lot by myself. And this thing I've noticed was made massively apparent about a month ago when I was in the highlands of Iceland with a group of great photographers. It's all to do with my perception of light and when the best time to shoot is. Now this is a problem that I have been aware of for a long time, but it was just always in the background, whereas now I'm acutely aware of it. And I think it's the thing that's holding me back the most. Anyway, all will become clear. For now, we are in a very busy car park on the Isle of Arran, and we are gonna hike up Goat Fell. And I'm slightly concerned that we might not have allowed ourselves enough time. The Isle of Arran is a small island that sits off the west coast of Scotland in the Firth of Clyde. Oh, and before I forget, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I've driven here in my camper van to enjoy some landscape photography and boy was I not disappointed. This place is incredible and it's no wonder that it's been affectionately nicknamed Scotland in miniature. And over the next couple of days, this island is gonna hit me with everything that it has, including beautiful light, incredible landscapes, and of course, well, Scotland in miniature, the great Scottish weather. So Goat Fell is the highest peak on the Isle of Arran, and it looks phenomenal. It's like a must-see hike or a must-do hike when you come here. And everything I've read and all the images I've seen online, it looks fantastic. But the problem I have is I'm only here for three days. And as of 7 p.m. today, a storm moves in. We get a warm front coming in with high winds, lots of rain and lots of low cloud. So right now is my only window to get up Goat Fell and I might miss it. Yeah, it's a bit of a race against time. Um, and it does, it does link back to my, my issue, my problem. Now that problem is this idea that the light is never at its best. Like I will go on a photo shoot and it could be mid afternoon and I have this, not all of the time, but sometimes have this inability to recognize how good the light is there and then because I'm constantly waiting for that golden light, that sunset light, that burning glow. And I realized this so apparently when I was in the Highlands of Iceland with them, a few mates of mine, a few photographers, because we were all shooting together at the same time, same locations. And some of their images, some of the images I've seen from these guys were phenomenal, beautiful light, fantastic color and contrast. And I didn't have those images because although I recognized the scenes, I wasn't shooting, I was waiting for the light to get better. And I was failing to recognize that actually that light right then and there was great. All right, first proper sighting of Goat Fell. We are 50 minutes in and it doesn't look too far away. So yeah, it's not raining yet. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, so two or three water breaks, a lot of YouTube faffery. Two hours and 20 minutes later, we are at the summit, or oh, more or less, there's a bit more behind me than those people up there. And you know, I can't film in front of people. So uh, this is it. This is the summit of Goat Fell. And I have to say, oh, it looks incredible. And the weather seems to be holding out. So we've got mountain rescue flying past. Oh dear. Hopefully they're just on a training exercise and not picking someone up because that is just awful when that happens. Well, the helicopter's definitely rescuing someone. Um, I'm not sure whether or not it's serious. And this is probably gonna sound quite selfish of me, but the light is fantastic right now. So despite the rescue that's going on 100 meters in front of me, I really have to continue to shoot. Actually, it might be quite a, a story that there's this helicopter within my frame, um, but the light's beautiful on this ridge. And this is the kind of light that I was talking about. It, it, it doesn't happen all the time, but there are certainly instances in the past where I would ignore this light thinking, oh, it's the middle of the day, the light's too harsh. And I would wait for the softer evening light only for it to be snuffed out by clouds. 
when in fact this light right now is fantastic. So I only have with me a 24 to 70. Um, I don't have the 16 mil, oh, sorry, the 14 to 30, but I want a, quite a wide square crop. That's what I'm seeing here with the boulders in the foreground and the, the mountains falling off into infinity. It's beautiful. So to achieve that wider square crop, I'm actually going to go for a panoramic left to right and crop it to a square. So it might be three or four images stitched together. So let's go ahead with that and we'll have a helicopter in shot as well, possibly. Well, I mean, I love the composition and the light has softened off a bit, which might help the composition, but I can't talk about photography when there's someone being winched down from a helicopter, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if there's uh, <laughs> if the communication, you know, if my uh, if my presenting skills haven't been up to par on this shoot, but it's so distracting with the helicopter behind me. However, I am putting on the long lens because I think there might be a bit, bit of an abstract shot out to sea in the complete opposite direction where I just took my panoramic square image even though you know it's not panoramic you know what I mean the stitched square image so this was actually the very first thing I noticed when I arrived at the summit of Goat Fell it was the dappled light over the ocean over the sea to the sort of west southwest and you've got sunlight coming through the cloud you've got the shadow of the cloud on the water and it's beautiful it really is it's fantastic but there's this one island and these dark foreboding clouds above the island that's all of the weather that's moving in that's going to hit us soon so we'll actually have to get out of here pretty shortly but it looked great i didn't think i could frame it because i thought the island is too close to the mainland and I thought, mm, the island needs to be isolated. But I had a look, went in with the uh, 100 to 400 at around about 280, 300 mil, and I've managed to isolate the island in a square crop, which is my favorite crop. But, you know, we've just done one there with the square pano, and now this as well. So we've got heavy clouds, an isolated island, and beautiful dappled light on the water. And yeah, this might actually be a favorite of mine. Uh, so absolutely beautiful. Yeah, happy now, very, very happy. wiped out <laughs> that was a much longer and far more arduous hike than i thought it was going to be i was out five and a half hours which is <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it was also very strenuous i didn't think it would be so strenuous anyway we're gonna move on find a nice park up hopefully by the coast it's not raining yet i honestly i thought it would be raining by now but the clouds have well and truly moved in uh, but you never know if you find somewhere by the coast we might get a nice seascape image so we'll uh we'll go and have a look see what i can find now i know i've only been here one day but this island is beautiful it really is scotland in miniature it's crazy like for the van man i can drive to anywhere on the island within like 15 or 20 minutes look at it man look at it beautiful i'm slightly concerned though there is a camper van ahead of us and uh, there's only so many park-ups, there's so many vans on this small island. 
Yes, go on, go on, turn in, turn in, go on, go on, go on, go on, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, this van is definitely looking for a park up and if they get the one I've got my eye on, I will not be best pleased. And there goes the motorhome camper van to join their friend. All right, everyone, this is it. The most anxious part of my day, which is trying to find a park up that I have all to myself. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we have one down here. Uh, okay, well, we have a tent. We have one camper van. Oh, uh, no. Too many people. Far too many people for me. People camping in tents, people camping in vans. I can't walk around with my camera, get out at six in the morning to shoot B-roll of the van as the sun rises. Ah. All right, I think we have hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, beachside camping, look at this. Oh, this is just perfect. This is what I'm after. All I've got to do is find a place where I can make it level. Ah, we can use stones and level up. No problem. So I am changed, had a bit of a freshen up. I've got a cup of tea on the go, ready to settle in for the evening. Now I'm sure many of you are curious about what happened with the helicopter rescue today on the mountain. So what I'm gonna do is when I get home, I'm gonna look up the mountain rescue logs for today and I'm gonna get as much information as I can and I'll pop it at the end of this video. But before that, let me thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Now Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform. So as a photographer, if you want your own website with an online gallery, an online store, I believe now, you can even have a members area, which is just fantastic. Well, you can do it all through Squarespace. You don't need to hire a web designer or go through the complex process of learning code and building a website yourself. Just use Squarespace's drag and drop system. It's really intuitive, straightforward. They've got 24 seven customer support. So if at any point you get stuck, you can get the support from them. Or as I say, in pretty much every sponsored video by Squarespace, just go on YouTube. There is a plethora of fantastic tutorials and you will be up and running with a website in no time. And if you've got all your copy and your media ready, you could have a website up and running in 24 hours and that's including your own domain. So if you fancy giving that a go, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and you'll get a free trial. And if you enjoy that free trial and it all works for you, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. Right, well, I, I'm absolutely wrecked and uh, I just need to wind down with a cup of tea and, uh, and then get a good night's sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I, I genuinely hope that today's incident with the helicopter was not serious, but I guess we'll see now. I'll pop the information on screen. Cheers, guys. The following statement was taken from Aaron Mountain Rescue Team's Facebook page. The team were called out yesterday afternoon after a hill walker came across a female who had fallen a significant distance from Stackock Ridge, suffering serious injuries. Eight team members were deployed in our Argo cats and quad bikes and once on scene assisted the paramedic from Rescue 199 with treating and packaging the injured walker before she was winched on board Rescue 199 for onward transfer to hospital. Thank you. 